to create a new sequence, select File New. ElectroPro software has four tabs, Creation, Configuration, View Graph, and View Sheet. So first, in the Creation window, select Line for the 2D acquisition. Electrodes will be located along the X coordinate. Then press Next. In the X width spacing, you enter the spacing between the electrodes in the field, so 5 meters in that example. And the X width size, this is the number of electrodes, so 48 in that case. It can be 72, 96, or other, depending on your system. The X width offset, this is the position of the first electrode, so 0 meters by default. Let automatic grid validate it for a standard array and click on create grid. Electrodes will be located along X and Y, Y equals 0 by default, and electrode 1 is located in 0 meters, and electrode 48 is located in 235 meters. So first electrode 1, last electrode 48. After that, you can click on Configuration tab. In the Configuration window, we are going first to define the timing parameters. Enter a name first for the sequence that will be stored into the unit. And select the electrode array. You can see that there is the Wenner-Schumberger array and also there is the Wenner-Schumberger reciprocal. This array is particularly interesting for the Syscal Pro as 10 channels can be measured with that array. So 10 channels for the Syscal Pro, both the number of channels. You can enter 2 for the Syscal Junior R1 Plus or R2. Keep 10 in that example. About the timing, select the row and IP mode. Keep 2 seconds and arithmetic mode for the IP slices distribution. About the quality control, 1 for the quality factor, 4 for the stack min, 8 for the stack max. It means that if the Q value is better than 1%, 4 stacks will be measured. If not, the measurements will run up to 8 stacks. With this voltage requested option, the unit will inject VAB to receive each time a maximum VP and keeping 800 volt for the max VAB. Then we are going to define the grid of the depth levels. The left part, you can see the different spacing that can be programmed and the right part, the levels. So in that example, we're going to define six levels for each different spacing. Different spacing means different dipolets. So this is used to increase the signal to noise ratio. So in that case, we create 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, and 5A to reach the max depth. We can keep 10 for the number of channels for the optimization process, and we keep the three options validated by default for the optimization. Click on Create Standard Sequence. This window gives information about the sequence, and you can have a view about the estimated acquisition time. Press OK. Enter a name for the sequence that will be stored in the computer. You can keep the same name than in the syscal. Press Save. Then you can click on View Graph. In the View Graph window, we can visualize the report points of the sequence. Along the X profile and along the Z investigation test. Different colors correspond to the different spacing that have been defined in the sequence. The black circles correspond to the gap fillers added for the optimization process. Then, in a status bar, you can visualize the estimated investigation test, the number of measurements, and you can also have a view about the estimated acquisition time. Then, you can click on View Sheet. In the view sheet window, we can visualize in the left part the coordinates of the electrodes along the x, y, z. x, this is the profile length, y equals 0 by default, and z equals 0 also by default, and note that the topography can be entered after data download. In the right part, we can visualize the a, b, m, n electrodes that will be used for each quadruple of measurement. You can visualize the geometrical factor, which is computed for each quadruples, and you can have a view about the estimated investigation test. Those windows can be printed or can be exported as CSV Excel file. If you want to upload a sequence into the unit, validate the sequence, select File Communication Port USB, 
then select File Upload. Select the right menu in the syscall and press OK. And connect the USB cable between the syscall and the computer and press OK.